everybody, welcome to Design Lifestyle. I hope you guys are all having a really good day. And I hope you guys like this content. Um, if you like this content, please feel free to like it, subscribe, ring the notification bell if you want, and leave a comment and review. What do you think about this? Or if you have anything to say. Today, I just tried to record two videos for this channel for you guys, because I love you guys. and. I hope this channel can help people. And the video, the two videos that I recorded that were like an hour long, didn't record audio. Is it recording audio? Yes, okay. Didn't record audio and I was just sitting there and I was just like, stupid. And I kind of got emotional and I was just like, okay. That's just life, right guys? This is life. <sighs> That's just life and I love what I do. I love my life. I know life gets hard sometimes. Sometimes you feel like you do a lot and then it doesn't add up to anything. Even though you knew you were doing the right thing, it's just that, it's just that something was off, right? The, Sometimes we go through life and we're trying to do something, but there's just like one thing that's like stopping us, right? I want you to I want you to know that your effort matters, especially to God. If you're trying to do something and it's failing, but you have good intentions, like if you're trying to help somebody, and you feel like it failed, and let's say maybe you did fail, right? Let's try, let's say you're trying to help somebody and it fails. What? What then? I want you to know. That if you try and you fail, I believe that there will be angels on the other side who will accomplish it because your heart was in the right place. And if you fail, try again. Repent. It's okay. It doesn't make you bad. Your heart is in a good place. You guys, we're, we're not here to be perfect immediately in this life or even the life to come or any other lives. It's just... We're here to grow and experience stuff, right? So I need to tell myself that this is the li design lifestyle and that is part of this whole beautiful thing. I've always wanted to start a community like Zion. I've always wanted to start a garden community where, we are, where we're all putting in effort and we're reading scriptures or we're like doing spiritual things to grow as a community and we like share the food and like we work one with nature we don't really kill things I just like animals and stuff obviously the society might not work for everybody I'm vegetarian I that's just what I am I would eat meat I guess if it was in times of famine or like cold and stuff like that but that's just I'm not telling anybody they have to live like me that's not what I'm saying I'm just saying that that's the kind of community I've always wanted and that's the kind of design lifestyle that I'm always working towards but before I could do that or before any of us I think can really do that we need to work on ourselves repent repentance is a joyful process not a sad process and in my opinion the more and more I've done it it's just, I just learned that it brings me closer to joy in God and Jesus I've wanted a community like that, like, like Zion for a long time. And I've, I've failed in many ways. I don't really entirely know which directions to go, but that's something I would love someday in my life to be a part of like some small community like that, you know, and to have God walking in our mists and angels because of the lives we're living. But I know I'm probably going to make many mistakes. That's okay. Even when a community happens like that, I'm sure there's going to be hardships, right? That is one of my goals, so no matter how many times I fail, I'm going to keep trying, right? I know Jesus loves me, and I know Jesus loves you too. I know it. I know it. I know it. I know you're loved, so don't forget that. You might not feel worthy of love, but a baby is always worthy of love from its, ch from its parent. So, I love you guys. You guys all have an amazing day. Don't be too hard on yourself. Remember to act with balance. 
right? We all need rest and renewal. If you just keep messing up and you're just like, ah, can't do this anymore, take a shower. Breathe, read the scriptures, pray for as long as you need to get into the woods. Do any exercise that'll help you calm down, rest and renewal. Sometimes just eating something good, gratitude journaling to yourself, maybe even talking to a bishop. I'm, a, I'm predominantly a Latter-day Saint. I, I, I'm kind of interfaith, so I think like Hinduism is really cool and like all these other things are really cool and I can find truth in them. I find a, a lot of truth and a lot of light in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. That's why I'm predominantly LDS, uh, a Latter-day Saint, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And yeah, so there's things you can do. If you want to be part of a Zion lifestyle or of a community like that, message me, like comment on this video. Let me know if that's something you wanted to do. Let me know if you've had failures and successes. And What does the Zion lifestyle mean to you? And how can I make these videos better for you guys? That's really important to me because I don't want you guys to be bored, you know? I want this Zion is being unified with people, right? So if I can make this video, these videos awesome and better, that means I can bring more of us together. That's what I want. I want to bring more of us together in Jesus, in Jehovah. I want us all to feel Heavenly Father's love because that's super important. I want you to feel His love. That's one of my goals for making these videos. I will fail but I succeeded in this video to the degree that I wanted to. And you can succeed too, no matter how many times you fail. Just get up again. I love you guys. You're amazing. The fact that you exist is awesome. The fact that anything exists is worth celebrating. <sighs> I'm glad you have eyes and ears to watch this video, you guys. You guys are sons and daughters of God. You guys have his divine essence in you. You have the light of Jesus Christ in you. I love you. I pray that you can feel the Holy Spirit today and that the Holy Ghost can be with you. And I pray that you can feel God's love today in some manner and way. I pray that you can remember that Jesus loves you. And I hope you all have an amazing day. If you like this video, please remember to uh, subscribe, comment, leave a review, and, and or like this video. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys. Wonderful day.